Genesis 2, 7. Again, it's kind of both, really. Okay. So, there's a, so this exercise combines the, the four pillars. You could do it with a, um, a hang bar, too. So, you, so the first thing is you jump up, kind of either just hang or do a pull up, and then lower, and then drop, and take on from the squat. So you can add the fifth pillar in, um, if you've got access to that kind of thing. Um, but what we're doing is combining the, the four pillar movements into kind of a flow. Um, it's a, a bit, as I said, Systema doesn't really um, go with you know, fixed forms and, and kind of sequences. Um, but this is kind of a useful thing to remember to how to check all the parts of the body. So we do the squat first, and I'm combining it with the breathing. So I'll do it kind of slow, and we'll do it like a five count, but I'll do five inhale, exhale, cycle breaths as I go through each bit. And I'll do the assisted version first. So this is good if, you know, first thing in the morning, if you're a bit stiff, or if you've got um, people that struggle with the movements initially. That's one with the assisted version of the movements. Then you can kind of balance the body by going the other way with the twists. But what I'll do is I'll go back the other way with the, the full pillar version. And you can kind of check that the body's not locked during these movements by checking that you can move through it. Walk or jump out. And at this point, you can either bring the legs back down, or you can just move the head out of the way and, and come over. So, and, and then you get to the push up. If I've done it the other way, so if I brought the legs back down, then I just reach with the arm. And I want to have the feeling that this is kind of pulling all the way through the body. So my focus is in my fingers. It's almost like someone's got hold of my hand and I'm kind of unconscious and they're pulling the elbow. So I'm stretching and opening out the body. And here. Thanks.